So alongside all of the sort of surveying and the uh, block management and the rest of it, we can actually help people um, take control of their building. So the enfranchisement process that I referred to at the beginning, that yeah. actually costs money because you're actually offering to buy the freehold off of the freeholder. Okay. So there is a value attached to that and mm. it's not for everybody. And if everybody doesn't join in, then of course the value goes up. Yeah. You know, if you've got 10 people and only seven of them can join in, the value it's worth doesn't change, but yeah. the seven people have got to find that. Sure, yeah. So the legislation changed um, and it allows leaseholders to serve a notice on the freeholder saying that they would like the right to manage their building themselves. Obviously, they don't actually physically have to manage it themselves. They can mm. appoint an agent like ourselves, mm. but it takes away from the freeholder the right to choose the managing agent or okay. managing them. Normally, that's because um, the building's got into a bit of a dilapidated state because yeah. ultimately it's your asset, your, your, your flat that you've owned. So, yeah. you know, you've got an invested interest to make sure the building's repaired and maintained properly, and the freeholder may be might be in breach of their obligations yeah. but not interested in dealing with that mm. so it's a it's a good tool for that reason people often do do right to manage because this freeholder sort of says oh we need a new roof which yeah. they do need a new roof and yeah. here's the quote and they don't like the quote <laughs> um often people do it on the basis that once they've got the right to manage they then kind of don't have to pay the bill but actually the roof hasn't repaired itself so yeah. it's kind of quite difficult uh, you have to Dulge down as to what people really why they really want to do the right to manage and if it's literally just because they don't want to pay a big bill well the roof is not going to repair itself no so, sure yeah um but then that incomes you know creativeness as well because they might be able to talk to the freeholder and maybe sell the roof space to a developer okay. to build flats on it yeah right and then they don't not paying out for the roof space so the, mm. the legislation has changed quite a lot in the last few years about building on top of airspace essentially yeah. so it's much more open to people now okay. um, and so you know our job is to kind of find a solution for people and yeah. work with them to to get what they need out of it without kind of you know crippling them along yeah. the way <laughs>